the opening statement from Coach Kemper. Yeah, I think that, um, you know, we just got done telling our team that I, I think to a large degree that is uh, that is more like the team we want to coach. I, I think we've been going through it a little bit in terms of being up and down um, as a team, and I thought we really did a nice job of staying together today, and I thought our fight was good. Uh, obviously, we didn't start very well. Uh, that's something that we got to continue to figure out. Um, we can't get in a hole like that, but – um, you know, that was more like a, a normal basketball game that you want to play. And the last couple here, we really haven't handled runs very well from other teams. And, and we found ourselves in just insurmountable holes. So um, there's obviously a couple things at the end that we have to be better at in, you know, seven in the fourth quarter isn't good enough. And I thought we, we kind of bogged down and the ball didn't move as much. And that's got to continue. Uh, throughout the game. So a couple of rebounds at the end too, where we gave him second chance points and we don't want to do that. Any questions, Tim? Yeah, I know, know you've talked a little bit. How you doing, Tony? Good to see you. <laughs> it, it, talk a little bit about getting to know this team physically and what they can do and that kind of thing. And and you're getting to know them mentally now too. What, how do you assess them now that they're, they're facing some adversity? Well, I, I think that today was a good step forward in that. I, I don't think that we've been handling – I was pretty down after Coastal Carolina. I just didn't think that I coached a team that I thought I would coach um, mm -hmm. in the first semester, you know. And uh, I definitely thought that we showed some character here. Um, they, they don't lose very often at home, you know. So this, this is not a place that, you know, I, I don't think they're going to get beat a lot in here. So, right. uh, you know – I think that, you know, our staff understood we had to play pretty well to, to win the game, to get over the hump. And you, you want to do that, but there's going to be a lot of coaches that come in here and feel like they did a lot of good things and still couldn't quite get over the hump. And I feel like that's what tonight is. Obviously, when you watch film and things, you're going to be able to point out reasons why, instead of feeling great, that you got beat by seven. Um, mm -hmm. But – I thought we were, you know, it was 10-0 or something like that. We were super steady, fought all the way back. We obviously played good out of the break in the third quarter. Um, and then, you know, they made a couple shots at the end. And that is something that we haven't done here lately is mm -hmm. when I get a chance and the game is on the line, I've got to be tough enough to make it. And they're, they're not going to be that open. I mean, we don't give up hope that open shots either. So it's not mm -hmm. like uh, they're going to be tough ones. And you have to find a way to get them in. And um, that's, I think, a couple little defensive things there at the end to clean up. And then you got to stick them when you get your chance. But um, we were a lot more mentally stable tonight, tougher. Um, that It is a very long year. Um, and, you know, I, I, we have two really good teams coming in at home again. And yeah. our run of, of kind of poor play, um, I do think it coincided against really good teams, you know. <laughs> James Madison is good. And we, we, uh, I think that we showed we have to play better in all four of these games. But I think it also showed that if we keep our heads on straight and we keep working and getting better, um, you know, we, we've got a shot against whoever we play. And, and that's the way it should be. And I think tonight, hopefully, that is what they take away is we have room to play better, but we can go into any environment in this league and, and be, just fine. We have to be a little bit better to win. Yeah, I was, I was going to say it's not necessarily so much poor play as you're playing some some good teams. Yeah, it's a combination, but you know you're not playing uh, you know the, the the dregs of Division One here either. You you know you're playing some pretty pretty fair opponents. So yeah, correct. And and like that's going to continue Thursday. You know Troy is the preseason favorite in the league. That they're a perennial. Uh, I think they're the best offensive rebounding team in the country for like the last three years. So they do their thing. And, and then Southern Miss has been great to this point in the year. So old familiar foe and they've been at or near the top of our league all year. So, um, you know, I do think that that's part of it that I hope our, our team kind of can level their head and go, um, we're competing against teams that are winning games in the league and we, it's not good enough to compete. And I think they feel that way, but mm -hmm. You know, that's part of it, too, is we played a good team tonight. Um, Amari Young, I've watched Amari Young get every dang rebound in all these games for years now. And <laughs> she did it again. You know, 17 and 13, she's a heck of a player. And she has been for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, she's tough. She is. Who were you pleased with today? 
Uh, I, you know, probably more the collective, just handling, handling the ups and downs that we've had on the road. I, I thought that they were pretty level headed. I thought that um, we made, we had a lot of turnovers, but I also feel like in, in some moments where in the past we've panicked, we had a little calm to us. A Abby was pretty good. Um, yeah. I thought Roe really, really came off the bench and gave us a spark and, and played, you know, she was improved over Thursday night, and I thought that was really important for our team. Uh, Mo didn't have a good game, but I, I liked how Mo handled that. She came back in the second half and was important. Um, you know, I could kind of go go down the list. But we, I know we have they have to play better. If they want to feel better on Thursday. You know, yeah, yeah. You row off the bench. That's a little different. So, so, so tell me about that. Yeah, we just felt like that was the right thing to do tonight. And, uh, you know, I don't know if it'll continue or we'll, we'll go back the other way. Obviously, she's she's a good player and important to us. And uh, I uh, I thought that probably we did the right thing today, and I thought she did the right thing in the way she played. Mm -hmm. well, good. Good. Uh, you you kind of have a history of the second time through of, uh, you know, of beating teams. So does that give you some optimism, too, going into the to the back half of the conference schedule when you get there? I hope you're right, Tim. That's all I'll say on that. I hope you're right. So we we'll see. Um, you know, this, this our team is fine. We've got a talented group of players. They've they've got to remain calm about. Um, they can't get too tied up in the results of today, and that's uh -huh. really really hard to do. Um, sure. You know, but I anticipate a quiet plane ride home, and we we've got to really go to work um, for Thursday and Saturday. Yeah, you'll do well. You'll do well. Appreciate uh, that. My pleasure. Uh, anything else you want to tell me? That's it. See you Thursday. I'll be there. Look forward Tim, to it. Tim and Coach, thank you.